What's up, team? So today I want to talk to you guys about lying lovers. That's right, lying lovers. L Y I N G, lying lovers. So do me a big favor, share this video, share it, tag someone in it that is going through a tough time right now that's hurting and that needs some encouragement. All right, sold this video to someone's life. We're going to talk about it all. So, months ago, I had the opportunity to publish a book uh, by Dr. Ron Webb, and the book was called Single in the Right Way uh, to Mingle. So, one of the chapters that I was able to co-author and write a little bit about was called Lying Lovers. So, in this chapter, it gave me another perspective that there are people out there that are actually praying you know, P-R-E-Y-I-N-G on people. You may be on fire for God, trying to be abstinence, practice abstinence, and you're probably focus. Then a lying lover will come in and destroy your life to get you on the wrong track and leave you broken, hurt, confused, vulnerable. So lying lovers, they play games. They don't care that you're saved. They don't care that you want to wait till marriage to have uh to have sex. They don't care that you 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 got an anointing on your life. Lion lovers, they they pretend. Some of these lion lovers have titles, maybe bishop, apostle, prophet, and they have no conscience for sin. It's like it's cut off. Amen. Their their conscience is seared. They will do anything to get in your panties, to get in your boxers. They will say anything to get those draws. And I'm just being honest. These are called lying lovers. They don't care about your standards. Your standards go out the window with them. They will say anything. They will say, baby, you're so fine. Ooh, you know, I love you. They will tell you anything to get your forbidden fruits. To put their hand in your cookie jar. You know, you can't listen to that. Lying lovers. Amen. They know how to stroke your ego. They make you feel like you're the best thing that ever happened to you. To, to them. They're manipulators. You know, you, you, you can't take the bait. Lying lovers. There are certain, there are, um, there are warning signs. Amen. But some people, they ignore those red flags. Everyone around them saying, don't get involved. But you're so desperate and lonely, you don't care what people saying. You don't care that God is speaking through the fam your family member or, or friends. You just want what you want. And then you end up getting hurt by that lying lover. All right, so I'm going to give you a scripture, some scriptures that's going to bless you. All right, Psalm, Psalms 52, verses 2 and 3. It says the tongue, you know, the tongue, the vices, mischiefs. Like a sharp razor working deceitfully. Thou lovest evil more than good, and lying rather than to speak righteousness. This, this is the tongue of a, a lion lover. Their tongue just spread lies, 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 like a sharp razor, like a sh serpent's tongue. They work deceit. They love evil more than good. You, you can't get caught up. And uh, people to say, oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're a minister and they're, they, they love God. They don't love God. Amen. They don't have no, con they don't have no conviction about them. They will twist the word. They will per pervert the word. You know, and they don't care that you're hurting and wounded. They just want to take advantage of you. And once they get what they get from you, what they want from you, they're going to the next person. They have no intentions of 
commitment to you. You want a long-term relationship. They don't want a long-term relationship. They just want to hit it and quit it. They want to pump you and dump you. They want to move on to the next person that's going to give them what they want. You got a standard that says, I'm not going to fornicate. No. But a lion lover will push upon you. Will trick you and deceive you to get you into fornication. That's what a lion lover does. A lion lover, they're selfish. They're self-gratifying, lustful. They're all about themselves. Their tongues are like poison. Amen? Psalms 140 and 3. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adders, poisonous under their lips. They're sick from the enemy. All they want to do is destroy you and, and to get you down. Amen? See, I pray for wisdom. That you don't waste your words on them. You know, they deserve your silence. Cut them off. The best way to get a lion lover out your, out your life is cut them off. Block them. Because if you don't block them, they'll convince you to keep them around. They will convince you to not block them. They will convince you to keep sinning. To keep on having sex with them when you're trying to live pure and, and, and practice abstinence. You know, they don't, they don't want to stay with you. They probably got five other chicks. You know, or five other men. They don't care about you. All right? Don't even try to... You know, uh, sometimes I know you'd be hurt emotionally. And emotional soul ties are the worst. I had an emotional soul tie. You know, because the guy that I was talking to, um, after, like, I, I went through a bad divorce. And then I decided to try again. And one of the guys was a counterfeit. For three months, he tried everything to get back, to try to um, get in my circle. So he said, how can I get in her life? Oh, I'm going to use God. So he kept asking me for prayer, asking me for prayer. Then he asked me for my number, and I said, okay. So I gave him my number. So every day for three months, we would pray together. Um, we would do Bible studies and plans together. And then I guess for three months for him was a long time without having sex. So he lost it, and the real him came out. And he started trying to force me to have sex with him. I said, no, I'm a minister. Absolutely not. It's not going to happen. So I stood my ground. And he left. And I ended up blocking him. Because he tried to send me porn and all kind of crazy stuff. That's a lying lover. See, he pretended to love God and to have a relationship with Jesus to get me. Because he said, okay, well, I'm going to get in here. I can, I can go three months without sex. So I'm going to try to get her off course and you know get what's in between her legs but see i was serious about god and i said oh no I, I paid the price for this oil in my life i ain't gonna let nobody come in i don't care how good looking they may look or how smooth their words are no absolutely not so god removed that lying lover out of my life see a lying lover that will go far there's no it's no far it's no limits on how far they'll go to get what they want from you. Amen. But I pray strength upon you. I pray that you won't give in to their actions. Cause see, they're being used by the enemy. And we know the enemy, he blinds people to sin. But if you submit to God, resist the devil, he will flee from you. Amen. Yes, breakups hurt and uh, they, they hurt really bad. But God will heal you. Amen. There's healing for that. He will comfort you for that. Amen. You don't have to be stuck. You don't have to be bound. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to feel like you need this person in your life. The person God has for you will not hurt you. They will love you and cherish you and adore you. Amen.
So if you've been hurt, I pray blessings upon you. I pray favor upon you. I pray strength upon you in Jesus' name. And I pray for discernment so you be able to recognize the enemy in sheep's clothing. You'll be able to recognize those people that want to destroy you that are sent from the enemy. In Jesus' name, I also pray for healing in your emotions. And team, I love you. And I'm going to do a part two on this. All right, so I'll see you for part two. Peace.